Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? This morning. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh, this is a Friday. God allowed us to see another day. Not another day, but another Friday. We made it through the week. Made it through the week. And I hope and pray that you are holding your head up. You know that there's something brighter on this, on the side of your struggle. And there are brighter days coming. There are brighter days coming. It's all in what you believe. <clears throat> If you believe you're not going to make it out what you're in, okay, you stay there. But I'm a firm believer, and I know that God has done it before. If he did it before, guess what? He'll do it again. Y'all better start professing to yourself. You don't have to have nobody to prophesy to you. God gave you a word. God gave you a word for you, and he probably gave you a word for somebody else. So stop waiting for the a prophecy to come from somebody else. God God prophesies to you every day when he tells you to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to move. It's time to move. Some of us, it's time for us to level up. It's time for us to stop playing like we're not bigger than we are. You are big because God said you're bigger. You are big because God is my daddy. He gives me the instructions and the directions, and I'm going to do exactly what he told me to do. What about you? I'm just excited about where God is taking Taking me, not only in this season, not only today, but taking me into another season. Taking me to into another season of life. See, I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful. Anybody who know me, I'm always playing, always laughing, always. I, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. It's not too many things that can get next to me that I'm feeling all willy-dilly and why, why me? And, and I, I have to ask myself, when I do get there, why not you? What make you so good, so so good, so bad that you can't go through? So let me tell you, whatever you're going through, your pain is not going to be just empty. It's not going to be for no reason. You're going through what you're going through for a purpose. There's a purpose in your pain. There's a purpose in your crying. There's a purpose in you going through what you're going through. And it's not to kill you. It's to get, make you learn a lesson and let you know that God is still in charge. God is sits on the throne. God is yet sitting on the throne. He is look, sitting high and he's looking low. He's seeing everything that's going on. Those that try to talk talk about you in your face, at your face, he knows it. You just continue to remain humble. Continue to remain humble. And the golden rule said, treat people the way you want to be treated. Don't treat people like they treat you. Treat them the way you want to be treated. It's not about how they treat you. It's your response to how they treat you. See, you can't, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You can't get nobody back for what they said, how they treat you. God got that. God got you. God got you. And I, I ain't even come on here for all that. I just came on here to tell you, it's Friday. We made it. We made it. We made it. And I'm glad to know that I made it to see another day. I made it to see another Friday. That means my purpose on this side is not complete. I don't know about you, but there's purpose in you. There's purpose in you. Yeah, you better uh, 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 tap into you, ask him what your purpose is, and get to knowing your why. <laughs> get to knowing your why. What is your purpose? What does God have you here for? Every day he allows you to wake up. Some of us hadn't tapped into it yet. Some of us hadn't quite understood why we're here. See, you need to, you need to establish, reestablish your relationship with God, and he will tell you why you're here. He'll tell you what your purpose is on this side of glory. See, because I know my purpose is not complete. I'm walking in it, but he's he not, he not done with me yet. God is not through with me yet. There's some things that that's on the horizon that God is, is getting ready to birth inside of me. There's more cultivating that God is doing. There's more learning that I'm doing. So I'm going to stay in God's face. I'm going to stay on my knees, on my belly, and I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust God with everything I have. 
everything I have so I can continue to do what he has called me to do. Yes, God has called each and every one of us for a an assignment. You need to do your assignment. God, stop running away from your assignment. Some people say... <clears throat> I know God told me to do this, but I don't want to. Okay, it's not about what you want. God gave you a directive. Just like your supervisor gives you a directive, and you don't tell them you're not going to do, do it, or else you're going to get fired. You're not going to tell anybody that has rule over you you're not going to do something they, they instructing you to do. So why are you going to do God like that? Because you you don't think that he can he can get you back in way? You don't think, just like your supervisor, manager, uh, I don't use the B-O-S-S word, your supervisor, the authority at your particular place of employment, that you tell them, no, you're going to get, the first thing, you're going to get wrote up. And you keep telling them, no, the next thing, you're going to be out the door. So you straighten up and tighten up because you don't want to lose what, number one, God has blessed you with. So why do we tell God no? Why do we tell God we're not ready? And I'm I'm guilty. I have told him uh, uh, before 2011, God had talked to me uh, a few years prior to, and I didn't move. 2011, I said, okay, I'm, I'm tired of fighting this thing, um, uh, trying to work it out my way. Let me go and trust God who I know, who I know I was raised to trust, who I know I was raised to obey. So why, let me go and do that. And my life has not been, a cha been the same since I told God yes. You have to understand who you are, who you are in Christ. That's probably going to be another live tonight, but we're going we gonna to talk about that. We're going to talk about who you are in Christ. If you want to join in, please do. Please do. Uh, but uh, I plan to go on by 7, 7.30, and we're going to talk about that. Who you are in Christ. Do you know who you are? It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible who we are. It's in there. But we're going to discuss it. We're going to talk about it. Because I want everybody that's attached to me, I want you to know who you are. Because knowing who you are would with, with, uh, predicate everything else that goes on. Whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, whether it's your household, whether it's your place of employment. You need to know who you are. You need to know who God is calling you to be. And just walk in it. Walk in it. Stop being scared. Stop being scared. Stop being afraid. Fear. God didn't give you the spirit of fear. What is fear? False evidence appearing real. But I gave it another, another acronym. A couple of more acronyms. Forget everything and rise. Or forget everything and run. You going you gonna run because you think you you not worrying about what didn't happen in your past. You running towards your future. You running towards your destiny. So stop worrying about what happened back there. Cause that is your past. I don't have I don't care if it happened five, ten minutes ago. That's your past. I don't care if it happened four months ago. That's your past. I don't care if it happened five years ago. That is still your past. It is not your present. And it's not your future. You need to operate in the present so you can uh, go to your future. Your future and your destiny is waiting on you to catch up. Waiting on you to catch up. Because you still, you still lingering back there. And, and your present say, come on, come on. We up here now. We up here now. And your, and your destiny really saying, come on, leave that alone. Your past does not define you. Your past is not going to keep you from where God is taking you. It's not going to keep you from your destiny. Because we all have a journey to travel. What you went back then, that was part of your, your, your journey. That was part of your journey. And don't just stay back there. You'll never move. I mean, physically, your mind, stop staying in your past. Because your past is going to block you from your present and your future. 
because your mindset has not changed from your past. It's time for you to, <clears throat> to pick your pick, put your big boy, big girl underwear on, wear on and keep moving forward. I don't care if it's a past boyfriend, past relationship. I don't it, 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 past past. When you are ready for a mate or a relationship, God will send them. You ask God to send you the right people, send you God-fearing people in your life. Whether it's a, 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 a companionship, whether it's friendship, ask God to send you the right people in your life. You need to be surrounded only by only quality people. Those people that's going to pour into you. Those that value you. That pour value into you. Not those that talk about you behind your back. And God put it in your spirit. That they talking about you. But they grin in your face all the time. Negative. I'm so glad. I have a relationship. A intimate relationship with God. Because <laughs> he ain't going to let nothing slip up on you when you do. When you know him and you labor before him, he ain't going to let nothing slip up on you. Ooh. Okay. I got to get into this therapy. But y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Tune in tonight. We're going to talk about who we are in Christ. I'm going to go down some scriptures. We're going to talk about them. And we're going to have a good time in the Lord. Y'all be blessed. Uh, God loves you. G loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. When I tell you I love you, you best to take it to the bank because it ain't going to bounce. Love y'all. Talk to you later.